Hello and welcome to the video. This is one that has been a long time in the making. So I need to say a big thank you to Andy here for asking this question. His question revolves around the fact that on some control surfaces, on things like flying wings and V-tail, there is a mix. And in the radio or in something like iNav or Audio Pilot or something else, then what they do is they combine two controls together. On a flying wing, it's typically going to be the elevator and the aileron for pitch and roll control. They're going to be combined so that the control surfaces do both functions, but also things like a V-tail. They're going to add the elevator and the rudder together. So the elevator or the rudder can work with using those control surfaces too. Now, by default, when you set these things up, both on the radio and in things like iNav, you'll commonly see that it will default to a 50-50 mix. And as Andy's just asked, it's a great question. Is that what it should be? The reason why 50-50 is set is that that is a beginning situation. And for most beginner pilots, they're probably just going to be happy that they're flying. However, 50-50 is often not the most advantageous mix for whichever control surface that you're setting up. As Andy rightly pointed out, there can be enough control for roll authority, but not enough for pitch. You need a little bit more movement for the elevator and a little bit less for the aileron. So how do you do that? Because, of course, if you're using a 50-50 mix, they're both going to move in the same amount. You might get 8 millimeters for aileron control or roll control. You might get the same 8 millimeters for pitch control, but you might need 10 millimeters for pitch control. So that's no longer going to be a 50-50 mix. So if you've ever wondered about this, you're in the right place. I'm going to explain a little bit more about it. Now, one of the common mistakes that new pilots make is when they're looking at this, they go, well, this is easy to sort out, isn't it? If it's a 50-50 mix and I need more of one control, typically something like the elevator in a flying wing, then I'll make it a 60-50 mix or a 70-50 mix. And that way there'll be more elevator movement than there is roll movement. It'll mean there's more of one control than the other. That'll fix it, right? problem is it actually won't although you will absolutely when you're testing it individually on the bench get more movement that way from the controls the issue comes when you are at the extent of flying the model where you're trying to do a hard bank and pull back on the elevator hard as well you will saturate the control surface so before the stick on the radio if you'll maybe hear this example what i've done is i've added a lot more elevator into the mix than i have aileron if i pull the elevator back so that i have all of that elevator movement that i want and then try and move the aileron across to execute a roll you'll notice that one of the channels is going to max out and the other channel is then going to continue now that then means that the roll is going to be unequal it isn't ideal if you know the throws that you want, then you can work out what the ratio needs to be. It should never be more than 100%. And it also works in conjunction with the linkages on the wing to give you the throws that you want. And often new pilots will just think about the mixing on the radio or in iNav without thinking about the actual physical linkages on the control surface. But let's put those physical linkages aside for a moment and concentrate on the first step, which is what should that ratio be? If 50-50 is enough, is 60-40 going to be right? Is 70-30 going to be right? What ratio do you need? Well, the cool thing is you can use a very simple bit of maths. If, for example, in this example, we want six millimeters for aileron, that's going to be enough. However, we need a little bit more. Maybe we need nine millimeters for the elevator pit part. We need the total movement of the control surface up or down to be 15 millimeters with maximum roll and maximum elevator with maximum roll and maximum pitch as well. So if it's 15 millimeters, then we can use that simple maths. If we divide the six millimeters that we need for the aileron by 15 and then multiply it by 100, it works out at 40. So that then means the split between aileron and elevator needs to be 40, 60. So that's the easy part done. So with that little bit of maths, you can figure it out. Then 
what I would do is plug those numbers, that 60-40 split, into the radio, it's without a flight controller, or into iNav, if I'm using something like iNav or RD Pilot. And then what I would do on the linkages is I would adjust the linkages on the physical control surface itself to give me the throws that I want. And this is always the best way to do this. A lot of pilots will are reluctant to play with the servo linkages, but it's actually pretty easy. If you want to reduce the amount of movement on a control surface, then that's pretty easy. What you do is you move the linkage closer to the pivot on the servo arm itself, and you move it further away from the pivot on the actual control surface. If you want to do it the other way and you want to increase the movement, then you do it the other way around. You move the linkage further away from the pivot point on the servo arm and closer to the pivot point on the control surface. And by doing that, then I would play with that until you get the movement that you want. So with the 60-40 setting in the example that we've just done, I would play with those linkages so that when I move the aileron to full movement, I get my six millimeters. And then when I move the elevator to full movement, I should magically find that I've got my nine millimeters that I wanted. So Andy, hopefully that helps. The big trick with this is that always make sure that the split is always going to be no more than 100%. And I would always keep it like that to maintain the individual steps on the servo and the radio control link as well. And what I would do then is then I would adjust the linkages on the control surface itself to get the throw that you want. But having the ratio on the radio and the linkage set, you'll end up with exactly what you need. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.